there were four of us children and my mother was, you know, like a, and we kind of back to back. So my mother had a, a lot to do. And so at some point, um, and she also read to us as, as children, you know, you know, the, the bedtime story. But then um, she, she either got tired of it or bored with it. And that job got relegated to me. And I became the reader of the stories of the, you know, and they were all mostly fairy tales and stuff like that. And so I remember that being a, um, just a, a, a central part of my life, reading, uh, reading to people, reading to, you know, uh, to whoever would sit still for me to, uh, to, to be read to. I loved, I loved reading aloud. Uh, we had, um, you know, we had a book of, uh, like, this book called Great American Poetry, and I would just, again, I wasn't even, now I know some of the authors, Robert Frost and stuff, but I would just read it over and over again, the sounds of the words, um, the, you know, the cadence of the words, and just, um, you know, I was just fascinated with, with the language, and I, um, I remember one time my sister came in the room, uh, I think, you know, a reader and a precocious person who is going to one day become a writer, they, they start to de develop a world around them, a cocoon mm -hmm. in a way. And, uh, and so, you know, my attention was drawn by little black marks on paper, and my sister came in one day and she said, listen to this. Listen, I wrote this. And she started, you know, she started to recite um, by Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken. But I didn't know it was Robert Frost, and I just remember the, the chills, you know what I mean? Because I had already, always thought of this younger sister as being not, not the, you know, brightest bulb in the chandelier, to use one of her expressions, you know, she, the expression my sister would use. Uh, but so I just remember that, you know, being totally taken in and not really having any sense of, a, um, you know, my parents read, but they weren't, you know, teachers or from, a, from the literary world, but just knowing then, wow, she's, she's special, you know, she can do this. So, uh, so that was kind of, you know, I was, that was who I was as a, as a little reader, you know, as a six and seven and eight and nine-year-old.